Hello, I am Superintendent Donnie Evans and I'm here to tell you about an important strategy to help our district prepare every student for success in college and in their chosen careers. During the past three years, we have taken important steps to improve student achievement at all levels, including our high schools. One key step was the recent restructuring of our high schools to offer a choice of high interest curriculum paths for our students. The intent is to provide theme-based programs or pathways to connect with student interest to increase the likelihood they will stay in school and graduate prepared to go to college. Examples of these programs include STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. Government, culinary arts, travel and tourism, business, health and related professions, performing arts, and much more. In addition, each school is small, enrolling from 250 to 650 students each, and provides us a more personalized academic experience for students. All of Patterson's public high schools are now choice schools, and each includes a thematic program to which all instruction in the school is aligned. All current eighth grade students or new high school students entering our district can choose from 12 themes that the, the theme that best align with their interests. As a result of this new structure, the academic performance of each of our high schools has significantly increased. Our graduation rates dramatically risen, and more than three-fourths of our students are applying to and are being accepted into colleges and universities in New Jersey and across the United States. This video showcases our 12 high school academy options. Please be sure to discuss these options with your parents, teachers, principal, and of course your school guidance counselor. It is my belief that each of you can be anything you want to be in our country with hard work, determination, and support. You can be a teacher, a doctor, a lawyer, and yes, you can be the governor of the state of New Jersey or president of the United States. It is our job in this school system to ensure that you have a quality education, but it's your job to come to school, participate in class, and do your very best. On behalf of the Patterson Public School District, I wish you much success as you move into high school. Thank you. I am Dr. Robina Perrier Castro, Principal of International High School and Garrett Morgan Academy. International High School and Garrett Morgan Academy is a facility that provides a comprehensive education that enhances student achievement in academics, business, and vocational endeavors. This high school is a good choice for a student to consider attending because of its environment that respects and celebrates the diversity of all members of our school family. The benefits of a small learning community is that we get to work with students on an individual basis and work with them at their cognitive level. It also makes us feel like a family and therefore as a family we help each other out. Uh, what's unique about our seminar courses is they range in all different subjects across the globe. It opens the students' minds up to the new problems we're facing globally with water, human rights, food, and globalization. And it allows our students to become experts in their field. At the end of the year, they get to show the community what they learned and also educate them in these global issues. When I was in eighth grade, I honestly was confused about a high school to attend, but I thought about it. International means everything that's going on in the world. I wanted to know about different cultures, relationships people have with their families, different religions, conflicts, problems, all the happy times that people go through, and international has taught me everything that I know about the world. There's a lot of things special about international. 
It allowed me to travel outside the country. I've been to Spain and Italy, and they were both life-changing experiences. I want to be a music producer, and International allowed me to understand everything that's going on in the world, so I'll be able to produce other artists in other countries and understand their cultures and how they react to music, because music is an international love. I um, foresee myself going into a career um, with social sciences. I'd like to be uh, an immigration lawyer or possibly even go into politics. International has just given me a greater understanding of the world outside of Patterson and with the Global uh, Studies Seminar, we have uh, a better understanding of what's going on outside of, uh, of Patterson, of New Jersey, of the US. We have a greater understanding of, of the world, really. I've gained a lot of lifelong friends in my time being here, and I believe that after I graduate, I will continue to talk to my teachers and the students because it's such a close family setting in this school. Another unique factor of our school is our traveling program. I am the advisor of the Globe Trotters, and we've been fortunate enough to take the kids to Italy and Spain, and hopefully we'll be continue to take them to other places around the world, to places that they've never been to, have never experienced, so that they can open up their minds to new cultures and new people. Gat Morgan is a pre-engineering academy with links to the Project Lead the Way program where students work with industry leaders to prepare themselves for career in engineering and other similar pursuits. Every Garrett Morgan student is expected to be college bound and ready for a career when they leave. We expect that every day they enjoy and love learning and that they push not only themselves but their peers and teachers to ensure the best education. Garrett Morgan isn't a good academy, it's a great academy. Um, they had their start on Spruce Street in a tiny building and have now grown to be part of the family at 200 Grand Street. We're excited to be in a new facility where we can offer even more opportunities to our students to build that better educational experience. Um, I picked Garrett Morgan Academy because I was interested in engineering since elementary school and I've always found it fascinating that Engineers are the masterminds behind all the technology that we have in this world, and it's always seemed cool to me. Um, Gary Morgan is so special mainly because uh, we have a small learning environment, and it gets, allows the students to uh, have a better relationship with the teachers. Apply to two colleges, I know and I have no doubt that I'm going to get accepted and uh, accomplish all my goals because of how the school has prepared me. Well, because it's such a small uh, learning experience, they get the comfort of being in a warm and nurturing environment. I get the opportunity to really get to know my students before I instruct them as a teacher. So they kind of get to know what I expect as a teacher and they get to know all the stories from classmates. And I feel it cuts out on distractions and it really helps them to excel. Uh, as a Patterson native, I have a vested interest in them. I desire to see them achieve. I push them hard because I know they can do it. Uh, so I guess because I'm from here and I know where they need to go, um, though I do have high expectations of them and I know they can meet them. Hello, my name is Ahmad Field. I'm the principal of operations at the JFK Educational Complex, where we believe that education is the key to life. We have four schools within a school, BTMF, SET, ACT, and STEM. We believe that we can compete on a state level, national level, and globally as an educational complex. With that being said, the unique thing about the complex is that, again, choice. Choice is key. You can go anywhere you want within the four schools and get a wonderful opportunity to be educated. In addition to that, we have a wonderful range of extracurricular activity and clubs, which you can be infused in at any time that you're here at the complex. We wish you the best, and remember as I started, education is the key to life. Without it, there's nothing that can be done. Uh, we are the School of Business Technology, Marketing, and Finance. Uh, our mission is, is primarily to serve all of our students' needs, uh, to provide them with an academic experience, experience that offers them the challenge 
uh, to grow, develop, and afford them the opportunity to pursue a post-secondary education at any institution of their choice, uh, preferably in the in the business area or business-related uh, uh, professions. Um, that's what our focus here is in the School of Business, and we try to expose students to a wide range of, of concepts, ideas, uh, practices, uh, current trends, and 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 techniques in the in the uh, business world, and we would hope that that opportunity um, offers students the challenges that they're looking for and exposes them to a wide range of fields uh, to where that they can choose you know, what it is that they ultimately want to do at the, uh, the post-secondary level. Where well, there's really four career paths um, that a student can study here. It's business administration, uh, technology, marketing, and finance. Um, each one has a particular path that they can go into. The finance um, has the CASEL, the student-run credit union. Many students have an opportunity to move through that and develop skills that they will need in terms of banking. Students find it very engaging. It gives them an opportunity to be creative and it gives them an opportunity to know that they are getting skill sets with, which allows them to compete globally. I came here in February from Jamaica and I, the environment when I came here I was like shy the environment so I, I, did, I didn't really know anyone so I came here with a focused mind just to do what I gotta do and well I really liked it I, re, I really think I made the right choice because the environment is warm the, the, the teachers they, make, they always make sure that you understand the word before you, they move on. I, when I came here, I was, I was really surprised because none of what they said was true. I really liked this place. I really liked the teachers, my friends, the students here. Miss, I met great people like Mr. Brunson. He's a great principal. He helps a lot of students. He encourages a lot of them too. It's just great here. But um, I really want to go into uh, graphic arts design. But but I want I want to become a you know a game designer. But but in order to do that, I have to like know how to like, run my own business and uh, like learn how to uh, work with other employees. And I think this was the best academy for it. My name is Jonathan Adams. My name is Yorker Lawn. My name is Daniel Brown. My name is Ivan Garcia. And we, we chose me. The School of Education and Training's mission is to prepare students for post-secondary uh, education, perhaps in the field of teaching and education, social work, uh, child development. Uh, many of them want to work in daycare centers, own daycare centers, coaching, corporate coaching. But I would say the mission is to prepare them for the next phase of their life and to uh, be citizens that care about their community and care about their neighbor. The most important thing to parents is the safety and the well-being of their children. And in terms of the well-being of your child, we take that very seriously. Students who are in the SET Academy can choose from multiple career paths. They can be teachers um, of different levels, secondary, elementary, um, they can be corporate coaches, so they don't even have to stay in education. They go, can go into the private sector. They can be guidance counselors. They can be social workers. They can open up their own daycares. So the School of Education and Training can prepare students for practically anything. This, this spirit, this community, this family spirit that we have is, is truly unique working here. And um, of uh, the 13 years I've been a teacher, I've truly... I haven't felt really that I was part of a team until we started here at um, the School of Education and Training. Leaving from PPTA, I kind of thought going, going into um, SET Academy would be unsafe or whatever because of the whole reputation thing, but I feel safer here. As regards to like teachers and stuff, like I think the teachers are a lot better here. They're more educated, like they actually help us learn, they inspire us. 
and they they inspire us to succeed. I believe the teachers here did prepare me for college because now it's like I used to write an essay and I used to be like this is the most frustrating thing on earth and now I could write an essay and it could be like baby work for me. So I think I could come back to Sun Academy for teachers and just visit them and tell them thank you for what you helped me with. I feel I could come back because I go to some of my teachers now that I used to have and they help me out a lot like Mr. Mosler. He helps me with um, writing essays. Like, certain way you have to do it. I recommend a lot of students who want to come experience a school in education and training. This is the perfect school for it. Not only you're learning and getting prepared for college, but you're also being part of a beautiful family. Our mission is multifaceted because we nurture the academic excellence of all our students. We equip them with the skills to prepare them for the 21st century. We want them to be successful individuals that will make worthwhile contributions to our society. It is interesting to note that many times there are those who will look who do not understand the school of architectural and construction trades will believe that it is all about construction trades. It's all about auto mechanics. It's all about CAD or optic you know, systems of development and graphic arts. No. It's also about the basic and the core subjects, your mathematics, your language arts, your social studies, your sciences. You know, as an English teacher myself, if I notice that a kid has, is a struggling reader or writer, obviously I'm going to push them. Uh, if you need to read uh, somebody's floor plans, you, you know, you have to be strong reader, you have to be strong verbally. Uh, as well as the math and the science that, that kicks in. You have to be strong in mathematics if you want to go out and build a house, or you have to be a strong reader if you're going to go out and you know, uh, work on fiber optics or work on somebody's car. The environment here at the educational complex, John F. Kennedy High School, is very positive with the uh, small learning communities that, that have been um, developed in this building between the four schools. It is a very positive atmosphere. Uh, all the rumors and hearsay you, you read about or you, you, you go online about, um, over the last three or four years since we've been an educational complex and students wearing uniforms, I think it takes on a much different role. I, I like the teachers. The teachers, the teachers are, are very good. They, they, they they push you to do your work, and you have to really have the zeal and determination to, in order to get a goal. My current GPA now is a 4.0. I feel like the special thing is teachers. The teachers in the school, they try to focus on you. They help you as much as they can. They want you to succeed in life. I feel like we learn more. Like we're not disturbed. Like we get to our classes fast because we're divided now. We don't have to be late to our classes. And as when we were together, it was so much commotion in the whole ways, people are pushing you and all that. And now, no. Welcome to Eastside High School. My name is Zatidi Moody, the principal of operations here at Eastside High School in charge of facilities, management, student management, and athletics here at the school. I am pleased to introduce the three themed academies, School of Information Technology, School of Culinary Arts, Hospitality and Tourism, and School of Government and Public Administration. We are extremely proud of, of what we've created here with our young people. I need the community to know that this is a safe school. Eastside High School is the place to be. Motivating, caring, and resourceful is the culture fabric of the School of Information Technology at Eastside High School. Hello, 
I am Vivian Gaines, principal of the great 21st Century School. Behind me are representatives from the class of 2016 who have called the School of Information Technology their alma mater. Our mission is to prepare and motivate students to develop, operate, maintain, manage, and integrate hardware, software, and multimedia systems through their career pathways of game design, network security, and web design. Our vision is to create a safe and nurturing 21st century learning community where all students develop the necessary skills to compete in a global society. The School of Information Technology will emerge as a model urban institution that will prepare all students for higher education opportunities as well as effective job placement readiness. Well, the reason why technology is engaging for our students is our students live in a digital world today. In my course, I use a webcast, I use podcast, I use clickers, I use the smart board, I use an Eno board, and I try to use technology to involve my students into their studies. We offer an industry uh, certification called the IC3, and I have my IC3 certification. It's recognized by, um, globally by Google, by Microsoft, and several companies are looking for people who have the IC3 standard training. SOIT is helping me with my game, de game design career. It's better being in a smaller group because uh, you don't get to mix up with any other academy, so I wouldn't be learning about what culinary is doing, like cooking, and what government's doing about JRTC, and stuff like that. Staying on technology means I'm only ha gonna have technology classes. The reason I picked SOIT as my high school of choice is because I I'm, I'm really am a very, I really am fascinated with technology. I just like getting into it, see what it's all about. When I first came here, I was pretty surprised just by how my family felt by, um, when they figured out I was going to Eastside. All, all the, everyone was saying about how, how it's changed, they were true, it was right, it was, they were right. Our school here at the Culinary Arts, Hospitality and Tourism School at Eastside, we hold the biggest foundation for student achievement in the city of Patterson. We're looking for our best achieving students to, to be prepared and exceed all expectations the where they will be the ones that decide whether or not to go on to a university or college or of their, their profession of choosing. What we want to do is prepare them for them to make the choice. This academy is a good choice. We not only prepare our students for higher education in universities and college, but we're actually teaching skills here that can go into the marketing program, into hospitality field, and of course culinary arts which seems to be the most popular of them all. Well the paths that they, there's quite a few paths they can consider. They can become a chef, they can become um, front of the house which could be anything from a manager of the restaurant to a server to a head server, maitre d. Um, they can also go into management, they can also go into um, decorating, um, pastries, there's quite a few paths that they can get into. They can get into, if they like um, writing, they can get into food writing or uh, being a food critic, something like that. Well, I think they find it engaging because they're not sitting down. I think, you know, when you get out of your math class for 80 minutes and your English class for 80 minutes, I think they appreciate a little freedom to walk around. But they come here and they actually do work. They do a lot of work. I, I'm very proud of the kids in this program. Well, I picked it because I was really interested in traveling and business. And like the classes I have right now is business. Well, I want to be, well, I was, I'm kind of switching around. I, was, I wanted to do fashion at first, but now I want to do international business and relations. Um, I picked culinary arts at uh, high school choice because like, ever since I was little, I like cooking. And like, I have family in the industry. So the success will be like somebody like, you know, have a like, decent job, good salary, a house, a car, good family. 
Well, if you're an eighth grader and you're watching this right now, I'll tell you to come to my academy because we're because like we have a lot of opportunities. Like versus going to Tech, it's a there's like two thousand like more than there's like two thousand people over there. So you're not really you don't really stand out from the crowd. And here you got the chance to stand out. Like I'm student of the month right now. I never thought it would be that, but. It's just you just stand out. Like everybody knows your name. The principal knows your name. And versus tech, who nobody's gonna know know your name. Yeah, I have amazing teachers. I love them all. They teach me what I have to learn. Hello, my name is Karen Johnson, and I am a proud mighty ghost here at Eastside High School since the late 1970s. Currently, I am the principal of the School of Government and Public Administration, also here at Eastside High School. The School of Government and Public Administration has two pathways. The first pathway is the government pathway. It is in this pathway that students are afforded many, many opportunities to find out firsthand if there is a career that they might consider. We send these students on plenty of field trips throughout the course of their four years to investigate possible career opportunities for them. The second pathway is the JROTC pathway. The JROTC is not necessarily for those that are considering a career in the military. It is also for those that would like to investigate possible careers in state and federal agencies. I have been here 14 years and in that time I have seen a huge change at Eastside High School. We went from a school uh, that had its challenges and we, you know, every school has its challenges to three smaller schools and the School of Government, in my opinion, is the best. We have two pathways and uh, there's a government pathway and there is the JROTC pathways and our students who choose either pathway, I believe, are the most dedicated and hard, hardest working students uh, in the building. Well, to me, the thing that's so special about Eastside High School is that, well, the Government and Public Administration Academy is because we're like a family. The teachers treat you like they're, like you're their sons and daughters. I was kind of nervous because of all the rumors I've heard of Eastside and that there was always fights and things like that. I didn't, I didn't want to come, but when I came and I got into my classes and my, my teachers, I started feeling like this is where I was meant to be. But the school and government and public administration helped me First, because we had the HESPA boot camp, so it gave me the extra push to pass the HESPA, and I did very well in it. And also they had um, SAT practice, and my English teacher, she's very, she, she pushes us. She makes sure she goes to other schools and see what they're doing so she can come back and get us prepared to be on the competition, the competition level as other schools are. The JROTC pathway is an amazing pathway here at Eastside High School. It's one of two pathways here at Eastside High School, um, School of Governance being one and JROTC being the other. Students come to um, our program from actually from all three academies as a matter of fact here at Eastside High School. Um, we're a very open program. We're primarily focused on leadership. I think a lot of students when they originally think about JROTC and they think about um, our program, they perhaps think about the military. And it is, in fact, supported by the military. It is conducted and overseen by retired military officers and non-commissioned officers. But the real thrust of our program is about leadership and helping young people be better at whatever they decide to do. We don't push the military on our kids. It's not about trying to get them into the military. It's really about trying to help them become better young people, better citizens. At first, I didn't like the fact that I had to get up early because I'm a person that likes to sleep late. But when I got into the routine of getting up early and coming to school and just like everyone just motivated and already happy and ready to go, I mean, it was just like that moment that I'm already motivated just by everybody being motivated and I'm just laughing and having a good time and doing what I have to do at the same time. The special part of being a part of GRTC is that the fact they help you with college, SATs, HESPA, they like motivate you to do your work. They like push education so much. I plan on going to the military because when I when I first came to JTC, I was like, no, the military, no, not at all. But when I look at it, it's a part of me. Like it's like what I like doing. Like 
all the motivation and waking up and the physical part of it and just knowing that I, I can do something and have, like help other people. My college I'm looking at right now is St. John University and um, I just want to be a part of their RTC program there and going off and being part of the military. We are becoming more of an academic uh, school. We aspire for 100% graduation rates, 100% college enrollment. We aspire for different things now. It's a new day at Eastside. It's not the Joe Clark School anymore. Panther, Panther Academy is a uh, college preparatory academy. Uh, we focus on environmental space studies, uh, technology, mathematics uh, are high priority along with uh, AP classes. Uh, we offer AP classes in science, uh, physics and chemistry, AP language, AP history, and AP calculus classes. So all, of the, stu all the children who come to Panther are expected to have college uh, as their ultimate goal. Uh, Panther Academy is a, a great place to be. We have a small personalized environment. Uh, we house about 230 students. Uh, we also have partnership with MSG Varsity and we are participating in the Challenge TV Quiz Bowl for the second year and hopefully we'll go to uh, the championship. Uh, we also participate with the robotics program at PCCC along with Robotics First. That's uh, one of our uh, pet programs at Panther is the robotics competition. Panther Academy affords a variety of uh, opportunities in terms of a future career. Uh, we have some of the finest science and math teachers in the district um, and we, have, we offer a variety of AP classes as well. So in terms of our theme of earth and space science, uh, we really are centrally focused on, uh, of course, engineering, um, but any, really any kind of math or science uh, future careers. I expect them to give everything that they have in terms of academic achievement uh, to keep, to always keep, even though if you're talking about something that happened 200 years ago, for example, I'm a history teacher, uh, that you can make it current and they, they can utilize the information that they gain in their everyday life. Well, when I came here uh, for the interview, I saw how small the school was and how everyone, uh, everyone was cooperating with you and they were friendly and you know, you got to know everyone, and it, it felt like a, a big family. I chose Panther Academy because coming into high school, I thought I knew what I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to go into science, go become a forensic scientist, and live in the lab. Panther Academy is a STEM academy. It specializes in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So I really considered this school. Another option was a larger high school being a subsection within it, being in a larger high school, it wasn't really that appealing to me. A lot has changed since I entered high school and I realized I do not want to live in the lab, as I said before. I realized due to Panther, because they have so many programs, I've participated in mock trials, law days, several presentation-oriented things like public, uh, public safety, which incorporated many high schools. Robotics, I've been in the robotics team for several years, including FTC Challenge and the local competition we have here. And I realized, yeah, I'm interested in science. Uh, Harp Academy began back in 1995 it existed at Eastside High School until 1999, at which point HARP was brought down to our new site, our site where we are right now, which is the Main Street Mall. Um, while here, we've been able to expand our career opportunities. Our young people are not only doing um, college courses, where they receive college credits at the end of their school years, um, but they're also getting uh, rotations at the hospital. They're able to experience doctors, nurses, um, ultrasound, evasive labs, they get to see all the different careers. So they have an idea of where they want to go. For those individuals that don't go into the college courses, they have the opportunity of receiving certifications. 
for gra before graduation. They receive certifications, patient care assistant. They get training in um, EKG machine, phlebotomy. So they leave here with a job base. Uh, the main mission, mission of HARP is not only giving our kids uh, their medical backgrounds or their medical beginnings, but our mission is to make sure that they know how to work and survive, not only in high school or college, but in life itself. Well, most of the students that we have that are interested in pursuing a medical career have a desire to want to improve the quality of life of their of people. The first thing they'll say is like, I really think I, I could help people. After I transferred from my old school, I picked Harp Academy as my school of choice because I, want, I knew I wanted to be in the medical field. I just didn't know what occupation I wanted to be in. Overall, what I think is special about Harp Academy is not like only the students or the faculty or the classes, just like the overall feeling, the ability to have a hands-on experience, to go to the hospital. Harp has enabled me to take actual college classes and receive college credits from the classes that I've already taken during my junior, senior year in high school. From, being, from going to Harp Academy, I've broken it down to two disciplines. Cardio, that's working with the heart and the circulatory system, and, circ and psychology, working with the mind and the personality buildup. And that's only two of five that I've chosen that I see myself going to in the future in college. So. I have an aunt that's close to me, and she's my mom's sister, and she works with a doctor in the office. So she pushed me to go into the medical because it's interesting, and you learn a lot, and you get a lot of respect from others. I do have special expectations that I place upon my students become, because I come from the same place they come from. Uh, I was born and raised here, so um, when I went to high school, I only wished I had a school like this to come to. All students must audition to attend Rosa Parks High School and 80% of their acceptance is based on the audition process. Students are held to a very high standard. We expect students to achieve and to succeed. Our students graduate from college to succeed in careers such as teaching, nursing, psychology, the arts, and many more. So if you're looking for a school that has had a hundred percent graduation rate for the past three or four years, that a school that is nationally recognized and has been listed in the New Jersey Monthly as one of the best schools, then Rosa Parks is your school of choice. Students that study fine art can go into the fine arts as, a, as an artist. They can do, become a painter, they can become a sculptor, they can become a um, character artist, they can become a portrait artist, or they can go into a more commercial field such as illustration, uh, book design, anything dealing with the arts using their skills. The, the melding of the arts and the academics is much easier to understand. If I have an art major who can draw the presidents in order to present a history lesson that is connected to a work of art and a piece of literature, it's easier to teach the element of illusion because it's illustrated. Some students learn by sight, some by sound, some by action, and it's easier to incorporate to a dance major how movement in a piece can re-illustrate something that they've read. Playing bass is definitely the career I want to take in, in my life. It's, um, Rosa Parks has allowed me to prepare myself to the max that I could possibly have had from any experience that I've had so far in my life, and has definitely given me the tools to prepare myself mentally and physically to do the things that I would like to achieve in life. 
The reason why I chose Rosa Parks High School is simple. Um, it's a, a lot of reasons. When I was younger, I went to a lot of smaller schools. So being at Rosa Parks is like a family school, it was easier for me to blend in. Secondly, I've always known I wanted to be a writer, and I know that come and I knew that coming to Rosa Parks, I will um, definitely be able to enhance the skills that I already learned in all of my um, younger schools, like middle school and elementary school. So it was easy. It was an easy choice.